Hello guys, Peeblast from Switzerland here. In today's video we're gonna have a more in-depth look at the no raid farm I showed you some time ago and how you can improve it. And as you might see this video has timestamps so you can just skip to the part you're interested in. I really want to thank you all for the support you showed and all the comments and all the suggestions you gave. It was really astounding to see this amount of support on my videos, so thank you all again. And especially thank you to those who subscribed and showed me with this that they want more of this content. Now let's get finally to the main content of this video. You see here you can adapt this design I showed you last time with a small modification, just add one sensor and you can adjust it so it has 8, 6 or 4 plots. Those different sizes are important because all the crops have a value and as long as you stay beneath 10 it will not trigger a raid and if you go over 9 it will trigger a raid. Now on the screen you see the table with the different values and as you see carrots, beets and tomatoes have a value of 1 the potatoes have a value of 1.5 and the blueberries, bananas and oranges have a value of 2. The broccoli and pineapples have a value of 3 and are labeled as a high level crop. This means they will in all cases trigger a raid. There is no way to farm broccoli or pineapple without triggering a raid. The crops with a value of 1, we could in theory have a maximum of 9 of them to not trigger a raid. Because the circle design we can only have maximum of 8. With the potatoes you can have a maximum of 6. Because 6 times 1.5 equals 9 so it will not trigger any rates. And with the blueberries, bananas and oranges you can have a maximum of 4 of them. Because 2 times 4 equals 8 which will for sure not trigger a rate. In order to build this design, you will have to first follow the building instructions from the original video. I link to this video in the top right corner in the info box and then we will continue from there on. Ok, here we are. This is the design as we had it from the last video. And the first thing we are gonna do is to unhook this switch here and then place one sensor level 1 here. It has to be on range 1. Then we are gonna hook this sensor up to the logic gate where we just remove the connection from the switch and here we go. This is basically everything you will need to change. Now in order to deactivate a plot you will have to build this shape here. Just like this. If you now want a 6 plot farm you build 2 of those shapes opposite of each other and if you want a 4 plot arm you build 4 of them so 4 plots will be deactivated. That's it! Now you can control how many plots you want at any given time. Let's now continue with some general bug fixes and how you can troubleshoot your farm if it isn't working. Main issue 1. The farm does waste crops or doesn't plant them at all. If you're facing this problem, there are two things important for you to check. The first thing is, is the sensor set to a range of 4? If it isn't, set it to 4. The second big issue is, the ground and scrap mechanic is never on the same height. So as you see here, the block sticks half a block out of the ground. Here it sticks nearly one block out of the ground and here it is nearly completely embedded in the ground. These height differences can lead to, to different highs of the wall machine. This means the sensor will not pick the crops up or is too deep into the soil and will always be activated. If you're facing this issue you will have to adjust those blocks here in the middle or build it somewhere else where the ground is more level or on a other height. This could fix your problem. Main issue 2. The farm still triggers rates. If you're facing this issue, check that your farm is at least 256 blocks away from another farm. 
because if you not do that it will count as one farm and obviously then you have two man crops. The second thing you can do is to check that you have selected the right farm size as I mentioned before with those crop levels. More information about this topic you can find in the Scrub Mechanic Wiki. You can find the link to it down in the description. If you have any other issues just write them down in the comments. We will as a community try to solve it so that you have a working farm in the end. And with that all said I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further suggestions for other videos just write them down in the comments. I will happily read them. And until next time, have a nice day and be blessed.